A trailblazer in American history is being remembered today for her contributions to math, space exploration, and equal rights. Katherine Johnson died today at 101 years old. Her story immortalized in the film Hidden Figures. CBS 2's Dana Tyler with a closer look at her remarkable life. Catherine was a pioneer who broke the barriers of race and gender. It took decades for America to recognize the groundbreaking contributions Catherine Johnson made to the U.S. space program. But that began to change in 2015 when President Obama awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Beginning in the 1950s, Johnson was part of a group of female black mathematicians who hand calculated rocket trajectories that allowed John Glenn to orbit the Earth and Apollo 11 to land on the moon. The women worked initially in segregated offices with separate eating and bathroom facilities. Johnson once said she was too busy with her work to be concerned with racism. You are the boss. You just have to act like one. The Oscar-nominated film Hidden Figures brought Johnson and her colleague's story to the big screen in 2016. The movie detailed John Glenn's insistence that Johnson double-check the computer's calculations before his historic mission. I can't get anywhere without the numbers. No, sir. Thank goodness for the movie and the book that actually came out and people got to understand what this woman meant to our country. I mean, she really broke down the barriers. NASA later named a research facility after Johnson. In her hometown of Hampton, Virginia, and a statue stands in her honor at her alma mater, West Virginia State University. In a statement, NASA's administrator wrote, Johnson was an American hero, and her pioneering legacy will never be forgotten. Dana Tyler, CBS2 News. The story. Johnson's work for NASA spanned decades as she contributed to various projects over 33 years.